Welcome to part 3 of building my all-wheel drive Voron V0. Today's video is going to mostly be about the gantry and getting that finalized. Uh, but I made a short about it and I got the assemblies all set. The tensioning system is working. When I turn it the correct way, you can see the screws moving. I got all of the linear rails installed, which is good. The, the Z-axis linear rails, I don't actually know what height I need to put them at. I gotta go back and check my CAD work and see where exactly I wanna put these. And then I forgot to put the little end stops at the top of the linear rails, which is a bit of a problem, but I can get that addressed. And I didn't realize this, but my front stepper motors are really loose. So I'm kind of debating whether I redesign the mounts and reprint them, or if I just go ahead with the current setup. Um, yeah, so that's the progress update. Theoretically, I could install the belt now, but I don't think I'm going to install it yet. Uh, just because uh, I need to decide on what I want to do with the front stepper motors. And also, out of pure luck, because I never actually counted how many, uh, I want to say 200 millimeter uh, 1515 extrusions uh, these kits come with, by pure luck, I happen to have the exact right amount because I need one to go here. Sorry, it's filming ground by accident and another one to go over here. And then the last one is this cross support for the front stepper motors. I got the end stop mounted. So a quick little progress update. Started getting the belt on, realized that I made a big mistake with this part of the X-axis gantry because uh, I need to flip these bearings upside down. And I don't have the hex key to remove this, which is a bit frustrating. I ordered some, so hopefully they're the right size. But the belt path seems to be working aside from that. And I've got the CPAP fan mount sort of figured out. I took a lot of inspiration from, the, uh, from Matt, the 3D printing nerds, um, 250 build that he just released because that's also using CPAP cooling uh, and he had a really nice way of mounting it. So I downloaded the CAD files, modified them for my needs and it worked out pretty well. I made a little mistake in terms of the hole spacing for these front screws, but that shouldn't end up being too big of a problem. I started to make a little bit of progress on the bed, getting the belt mount set and then over here i have the uh the mount for the extruder which is down here it's a voron m4 so hopefully this mount works out well this is the mount that uh 24 7 printing designed for his voron v0 and i am i'm using the same one because i'm using the same extruder and it is a nice mount, works well, should fit nicely. Uh, yeah, I think that that's, that's the update for right now. I still haven't, excuse me, uh, I still haven't made any progress on mounting the uh, MCU. It's, it's going to have to end up sitting basically on the back of the printer, which is certainly not ideal but it's the only way I can make it fit right now. It's either that or it would have to be along the side here, which I think is a worse solution. Sorry about that. I feel like that's just a worse solution overall. So I don't know. I did put in these two um, because yesterday I got a little bored. I have the wires over here for them. Uh, yeah. For the power supply mount, I don't remember now if I showed it, but 
plan is to mount it like this. Yeah, I put uh, I put a uh, T-nut in there. There will be another one on the right for it. And then I might have to double side tape it also, but we'll see, one thing at a time. And I also need to figure out where I'm gonna mount the CPAP like wiring stuff. That's pretty important, but frankly, I think I'm gonna have quite a bit of space back here, especially if I put the motherboard on the outside, but I don't know. Yeah, I think that that's basically the progress update. So I will get back to you guys soon. Hopefully when I'm able to flip the bearings on this side and get the gantry mounted for a final time. And hopefully I have finished designing the tool head at that point. I think for now I'm gonna print some of the little spacers that can go in here to stop the springs from sliding around. The same way that I have on my other V0 because I like that mod. It just makes the bed stay in the correct spot more easily, which is nice. And I need to, I need to either find my old uh, part of these, one of these parts. I don't know what it's actually called, but it mounts on the inside like that, but it should have heated inserts. I don't remember if this is the one I used to have on my V0, or if this is a modified one that was meant to go on the outside, so fans can be placed on the inside. But I think that I'm just going to either reprint it or put some heated inserts in this one, because this V0 is not going to have any fans under the bed. It doesn't need them. It's not going to be enclosed. It's not going to be able to get any benefit from that. Uh, Otherwise, I also need to finish uh, putting the bed heater onto the bed. And then I have a magnetic build plate somewhere, or the, the base that goes onto the metal. Um, I gotta search for that. I honestly can't remember where I put that right now, but I'll find it. Yeah, that's the, that's the progress update for now. Quick little progress update. I got the extruder all assembled. Uh, it was actually fairly straightforward. I mean, I had some tolerance issues with some of my prints, but that was expected uh, because my bottom layer was a little bit squished. But other than that, it should be looking good. It spins freely. I'm excited to try it out. This is the first time I've ever gone with a Bowden style uh, extruder because my, my Elegoo was my first 3D printer, which came with a direct drive extruder. And this Voron was my second 3D printer, which originally had this mini stealth burner tool head, which is a direct drive. And then I went to Sherpa Mini, which is also direct drive. So I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest, about going Bowden, especially just because I don't know as much about it. So I worry about any little like tuning adjustments that I need to pay attention to specifically because it's a Bowden setup. But that I will just have to do some research and maybe ask around on Reddit and on some uh, Discord servers to see if anyone can help me out with that. So I've done an absolutely horrible job of filming just about anything for this printer, but it is coming along really well. This is, uh, I think the first update I have with the belt attached, but I don't know for sure, to be honest. And yeah, I'm very happy with the results so far. Um, sorry, I was just checking something with the belt alignment. All of these belts need to be as perpendicular as possible. But I'm realizing that my gantry sits higher than I expected it to. So realistically, I should have had 
everything sit higher so that these belts uh, wouldn't have any angle over here. That's a bit frustrating, but not very much I can do about that right now. Unless I remove the pulley that's in here and try and move it up slightly. Uh, but that's something that I'll add for the next revision, I guess. I just finished adding these back panels. They're all printed out of PLA on my Elegoon Neptune 4. And the CPAP fan has a nice little breathing hole there. I'm really happy with how the electronics compartment is starting to come along. I'm trying to keep it really neat, uh, or as neat as possible, but we'll see how that goes. Currently, I took the extruder out, but the extruder sits right there. And yeah, that's the update for right now. I have the 350 watt power supply on this side. 750 on the other side, all the motors are in, all the cross braces are in, back panels coming together. I still need to finalize the tool head, not the cooling. The cooling, I'm going to be using a crown cooler, just like this. The only thing that I need to figure out is how I'm going to mount the crown cooler to my Voron V0, because I wanted to use the original X carriage to mount the belts, so I have to figure out how I'm going to actually mount the hot end. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next part.